Hi, I'm Assam, the lecturer here at the Institute of Medical Education, and today we're going to take a look at solutions to Section 3 of ACES GAMS at Pink Booklet, Practice Test 3, specifically Unit 26, Questions 69 to 72. And in this unit, we're going to take a look at the oxidation of alcohols by the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase, uh, which is also uh, catalyzed by the coenzyme nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, so they have mouthfuls, so it's a Thank God they give us the acronym. So we've got ADH and NAD. And um, it's important to know that the way that the reaction works is that ADH removes hydrogen. So it removes the hydrogen from the OH group on the alcohol and the H group directly attached to the carbon that the alcohol uh, that is attached to the alcohol. So straight away, the alarm bell should be ringing. So if they're telling you that it's the hydrogen directly attached to the carbon is attached to the alcohol, you should note that if we take a look at primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols, tertiary alcohols don't have a hydrogen directly attached, which means tertiary alcohols will not react in the presence of alcohol dehydrogenase. So that's one thing to note because there's a couple of questions here that require you to know this key uh, piece of information, which is why you need to have some sort of background in chemistry and primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols to be able to answer a couple of these questions. So it's important to know, I just have some examples here. If we just react, let's say, for example, a primary alcohol, we remove the hydrogen from the hydroxyl group, the hydrogen directly attached to the carbon that's attached to the hydroxyl group, we form an aldehyde. Over here, if we've got two carbons bound, uh, so it's a secondary alcohol to the carbon, we form a ketone. And as we said before, tertiary alcohol don't react. So let's keep that in mind. Now let's take a look at the first question, 69. So 69 says, uh, consider the four alcohols uh, in the presence of NADH and ADH, um, which will not react. So um, in the exam, you don't have time to muck around, obviously, and you don't have much space on your paper to draw every single compound. But if you do have a background in chemistry, you would probably ensure that 1,1-dimethylethanol, um, um, and you can see the structure anyway, it looks like a tertiary um, alcohol. Straight off the bat, you can single that out if, you, if you're very quick with the chemistry. But I know a lot of students aren't quick with chemistry, so we can go through drawing each one of these and just um, arrive at the correct answer. So let's draw the first one. If we draw the first one, the 1,1-dimethylethanol, it pretty much just looks like this. So it's going to be one, two, three. So if hopefully you can read um, chemical structures. So that's what it's going to look like. So it's a tertiary alcohol. We know straight away it's not going to react, and therefore the answer is going to be A. But let's just draw the other ones anyway, just to see what they're going to form in the reaction. Because you get, you can get similar questions in the GAMSAT in future GAMSAT anyway. So we might as well practice. So N hexanol. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's just say the, if it's an N hexanol, let's just say OH is here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So um, we know this one is going to be a primary alcohol. So next is going to be cyclohexanol. Sorry, I can't draw. Um, that's going to be a secondary alcohol. And then we've got our final ones, a benzoyl alcohol. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank God they're not marking you for how you draw because I would fail. So that's how it's going to be. So this is going to be a, so you can see it's one. So the carbon here is directly attached to one carbon here. So this is going to be a primary alcohol. So um, what we know, therefore, is if we react these molecules with ADH and NAD, we're going to form here a ketone. We're going to form here an aldehyde. And we're going to form here an aldehyde. I know it doesn't ask that in the questions, but you might as well practice anyway for future exams. So the answer for 69, therefore, has to be A, because a tertiary alcohol cannot react, uh, is not going to react in the presence of ADH and NAD. So if we go over to question 70 now, it asks the reaction of two pentanol catalyzed by ADH in the presence of NAD would produce. So let's draw it, two pentanol, one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four, five, so two pentanol. 
So um, we just got to. So if you want to do that, so um, obviously you wouldn't do this in the exam, but I might as well. So it's going to form. Remember, we're going to take. Um, so this is obviously we can see here it's a one two. So this is going to be a secondary alcohol. So we know we're going to form a ketone. So if we just draw it, it's going to be O. So um, what we're going to have is a one. So we've got one, two, three, propyl, and we have here a methyl. So the answer has to be therefore, if we take a look at the options, it's a methyl, one, two, three, propyl, ketone. So the answer for 70 is going to be B. So that one was just to get your uh, get you warmed up again uh, for the next couple of questions. And um, I mean, if you knew how to, if you knew straight away that it was a, a secondary alcohol, we'd know straight away it's a ketone, and you'd know that it's got a methyl and propyl group, so it's a methyl propyl ketone. So again, having a background in chemistry would help big time here in this question. So 71, so 71 and 72 are mainly um, answer the, uh, read the statements and see which ones are correct. So we know it says for 71, illegally brewed spirits often contain methanol as well as ethanol. Consider the following statements about reactions with ADH and NAD with the two alcohols and which one is true. So let's just write them out, methanol. So methanol is going to be an OH. It's also the same as saying CH. H, H. So you can write it like that if you like. And we've got our ethanol. So ethanol is going to be, so we've got our OH. And then you can get your one, your two. So it's got our, um, sorry, we've got our, uh, where is it? One, two. So not one, two. So Yep, one, two. And if we do that, we can go, so we just say NAD or ADH. Remember, so we remove the hydrogen from the hydroxyl. We remove the hydrogen directly attached to carbon that's attached to the hydroxyl. So we're going to form, therefore, A, so C. So that's going to be H, H. So on this side, same idea. So we're going to still have the carbon group here. So it's a C. H and that's going to be an H. So CH3 and an H. So you can see what we did here. We removed the hydrogen from here. So that comes across and that becomes a hydrogen. So that's what we're left with. Um, because we remove a hydrogen from this carbon because you only had one hydrogen, remember? So you only had one hydrogen. So we're going to remove it. So we're left with the CH3. And it's going to be CH3 over H. So what we're left with is, if we take a look at the options, we're told we're going to form a formaldehyde for methanol, correct? And for our acetaldehyde, so for ethanol, we're going to form an acetaldehyde. So they're both aldehydes, correct? So remember, because for it to be a ketone, these would both have to be carbon. But because it's one uh, carbon and one hydrogen, it's still an aldehyde. Two hydrogens, still an aldehyde. So the answer for 71, therefore, is D. Both statements are correct. So again, um, with practice, you'll be you'll um, be quicker in how to drawing in knowing how to draw these compounds, pretty much, and um, knowing when to, where to remove the hydrogens and uh, how to put the double bonds and pretty much this mental uh, mental puzzles in your head, um, mental games, trying to figure out how to draw these compounds. But again, if you're still struggling with this and trying to get them out in a bank because in the game set you've got to be very quick here and you've got to utilize the papers they do give you for space but if you're still struggling just keep practicing keep practicing how to um draw i think for for these sorts of questions what i tell students is just get the names of the chemicals and just draw them out however you think they are and just go back on google and double check if you draw it correct do that a few times and you'll be quick so now onto the final question um, now, the final question is kind of an easy one because we know what the answer is going to be. If you understand how uh, primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols work when they react with ADH and NAD, you'd get this answer in a breeze. So it's asking which of the following statements is true. So if we react ADH with NAD with a primary alcohol, what are we going to form? It says ketone for A. That's wrong. Primary alcohols, alcohols will form aldehydes. So a is wrong. B says for secondary alcohols, an aldehyde. No, it should be a ketone. 
B is wrong. C says the product formed by a reaction of a tertiary alcohol can be aldehyde or ketone. Nope, we don't form anything, so there's no reaction. So therefore, C is incorrect. D says ADH does not catalyze reactions of tertiary alcohols. That's correct from what we spoke about at the beginning. So um, this, this unit pretty much required you to have some background knowledge in alcohols, whether primary, secondary, tertiary, knowing what a ketone is, an aldehyde is, how to remove or rearrange the um, structure, so removing the hydrogens or comprehending um, where do we remove the hydrogens from, how we rearrange the structure. And look, if you're still struggling with um, this unit, I do employ you to go back, look at the foundations of how we uh, draw structures, how we um, can draw structures from just their um, chemical name. And if you're still struggling, you can post your queries in the comment section below or you can contact us directly. We'd love to help you. Thanks for your time. Bye now.